Hey, this is Lee with Learning with Lee. Um, our new little activity is going to be the game War, the card game War. Um, because it'll give us practice with some things we still need to learn. Uh, I've never made, I had never made a calculator before, I've never made a war game before, so I'm also just challenging myself um, in these things as well. So this is what I've um, fiddled around with and made up. Um, I was thinking I'd do the numbers um, like this, the cards like this, because um, I don't have, I don't know I can find public domain images of all the cards that, to use, um, and I can't create those images. Um, maybe you can find some online, I'm sure you can purchase them online. Um, Maybe later we'll add like a card image, like the back of a card image for the beginning of the game or something. But this is um, certainly functional for our purposes. Um, and then you'll see here how many cards, because I was thinking, um, you kind of, when you start um, a project, you have to think through, like, what am I going to need? So one of the things I thought of was like, you win the cards, right? So you have a deck of cards, so you need 52 cards, and then you need to split that in half. So at the beginning of the game, they each have 26. And then there's a winner, and one goes down, and one goes up. And then it's going to keep going like that. And so the winner gets more and more cards, right? The goal is to get all the cards. So the winning will be when one person's empty, right? That'll be the end of it. Um, I haven't done anything about, like, war about having a tie. I haven't done anything about that yet. Um, I just wanted to get the basic concept of how it would lay out. Before you start, you need to kind of think through what do you need on the page. We need two different players. We need something that's going to you know, play the next round. And I thought, wait, we need to know how many cards they have because that's the whole point. So I just used numbers for that. Um, and maybe we could do an image for that. I don't know. It's a little trickier. It's a lot trickier. <laughs> Make the pile grow. Um, but we could probably do it. Um, and so that's all. So player one wins, announces the winner, shows you how many cards they have, uses a little image, um, instead of just saying like five of clubs or something. So when you're, um, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here by <laughs> showing you this, but, um, so can you figure out how this is done? This is using Flex. When you set up your HTML, if you have that picture of what your page, you want your page to look like, I suggest getting a piece of paper and getting a pencil out and just drawing how you want it to work. This is Flex, like across the page. I'm assuming that's what I did. And there's Flex column. Here's a Flex column. Here's Flex row. Um, flex column, Flex row. This is probably maybe one flex box and this is a flex box and then um so this whole thing is flex with two things in it and then this is a flex thing with three things in it and then this is a flex column with one two three things in it and this is a flex row so it automatically you know arranges them um like in the center like that um, so you need to think that through, so when you write your HTML skeleton of your page, you um, start with what you need. You can always go back and add stuff in, but you know it's better the more you can start with what you need. Okay, but I got way ahead of myself because we don't even have a project yet. Um, so you can go into your documents, right, and click on new folder and type in war, right? You could do that to create your new um, thing, but your new project. But you can also do it here, change directory, make that bigger, change directory, um, can I go right to documents? Yeah, change directory projects. Okay, now I'm gonna make a directory, macdir war. And I have to change directory to get into that folder. See how it showed up here? Like you're actually creating a real thing. So, and then we need touch index. 
at HTML. It creates a file called HTML. So let's see, is it there? There it is. Um, and then we can um, make a directory. You can't just make a CSS file and a JavaScript file because we're probably only going to have one of each. Um, a lot of my projects, I have two. Um, I have a CSS folder and a JavaScript folder. Um, and I can show you why. Um, maybe if I can do it, maybe I've already shown you, but real quickly if I can. So, like, here's a game, balloons floating in the sky. Okay, that is the same as bubbles. That's not it. Nope. The same as this game with bubbles floating in the sunset. It's the same as baseball. It's the same as this game. Okay, they hit it with the bat. <laughs> it's the same as this game. Okay, these are all like, all adapted from the same code. But the one says, you know, adding to 10 JavaScript. It has the float, what I call float, this is the float game, the float JavaScript file. Then it also has an adding to 10 JavaScript file and an alphabetical order JavaScript file and a nouns JavaScript file. And then it has a bubble CSS and a baseball CSS and a tennis CSS. And all I have to do, it's all in the same project folder. And I just use the float CSS and the, the float CSS and the float JavaScript. And then I just say, also, I just list on there um, under... Like under style CSS, I have another one that says bubbles CSS. Um, and then it just adds that on, layers that on to the CSS that's there that talks about the title and the font for the words and all that other stuff, the size of the balls or whatever. Um, that's, you know, the basic stuff's there. And then the bubbles just gives it the background and gives it the bubble picture and gives it the, um, and the bubble JavaScript, you know, gives it the, sound the tennis has a different sound from the baseball that's something in the javascript um so you know sometimes a javascript file for me is just a different list of spelling words so it has the spelling javascript file but then it has a second javascript file that it also uses with just a list of spelling words so that's why we create folders because as your projects get bigger you can have multiple ones they probably are only going to have one. But if you want to just practice being fancy, you can make a directory CSS. You have to get into there before you touch style.css. And then uh, we need to get out of that. Um, and make a JavaScript one. Touch, uh, what do we call that? Script.js. Okay, so now we have all of those folders. You can come in here and go File, Add Project Folder, Find Your Project War, and it's here. And you have these things here. Right now it's empty. Type in HTML, hit the Tab button. It fills in that stuff. Type in War. Um, you can work on your head. Um, you know, I always just go to another project and just copy this in. I don't do it each time. Um, you don't have to remember. And also at the bottom of your body, you're going to want to put in your scripts. That's the jQuery and... Your script file. So there we are, set up to go. Um, so think through how you want. If you want to just copy my code or try it your own way, um, you could even try it out before I do it. How you would make a skeleton um, 
on your HTML page. But anyway, get your project set up today. That's your goal for today. And we will start adding things in. Um, we'll start with the HTML next lesson.